Hello everybody, welcome to this new lesson. In this lesson, we will know how to create a background um, under scene. So we will create, I mean, a background like the following with only JavaScript and CSS. Lock these images are not, I mean, uh, a video. It's under scene. I mean, underwater scene. As usual, the code and the the resources like the images over here will be linked in the description of this video. Let's go to the code and see what we will need. First of all, we will need, I mean, uh, the images that we will use them there. I have these images, okay, which we are uh, some fishes and some, uh, I mean, a diver. Then we will need the library, which is particles.js. You could get it with only searching in Google, particles.js download. You will download it and extract it in your file. So, first of all, I will, I mean, uh, get that particles.js over here. I will copy that file to my place. And also, I will need the other file, which is, uh, I mean, the app, this file to copy and paste. Okay. Now, let's go to the code and see what we need. I will create a, an empty HTML file. Okay, I'll see new. Then HTML file, or code, for example, under water. Okay. Click OK. And here we are. This is an empty file. Okay. First of all, I will need, for example, here, Let's say uh, I will create a dev, and this dev I will give it an ID. Let's say ID, and I will say under water ID. Great. Uh, it's empty. Okay. Then I will link the file, the JavaScript file that I have there. I will see script, and I will see the source of that script is, let's say, the particles.js, and the other uh, file we have over there, which is the app. App.js. Great, now I have linked those files that I have copied over there. And now let's go to the code. First of all, I'll add here some styles. I will see style. And here I will see, uh, let's see, the first we will see the body. We need, I mean, the padding and the margin to be zero. The margin also would be zero too. Let's see that. And I will create I mean a background for the uh, ID which is under underwater. I will create a background. Let's say background. I mean the background would be like the, uh, the C. You could create a background with the CSS or bring an image as you like. I will see here linear gradient and inside the linear gradient I will see to top. Then I will assign the value over there. I will say for example two three. Uh, 05, for example, 05C7, which would be like the the blow, okay? Which we will merge it, or we will link. I mean, we will combine this color with the other color, which would be hash means hexadecimal 00 and C4FF, which would be like the following. We see that, and let's see the height. I mean, the background size let's say 100 pixel okay uh, 100 percent and also 100 percent see that let's go and refresh uh, double click that file and see what we have okay nothing doesn't work why we will save and i will detect what is the problem okay the background layer gradient top Okay, yes, the div is still empty. So I will, I mean, join this uh, this ID. I'll join it with the app that we have it over there. I'll see app. And over here, I will see the ID is this. So connect, it means connect this element to the other. So now this is the uh, element we have it over there. Let's go to the app.js and change some values. First of all, I will, I will change the link. I mean, line linked to, to hide these links over there. So I will go line linked. It's over here. Let's say false. Means we don't need any line links. Refresh. Wait. Made mistake. We have true. We have false. Save. Refresh. Okay. It would be like the following without any uh, links. The second point is. Uh, the movement. I need the movement to be 
disabled. Okay, so that we could go here without movement. I mean, like the bubble that comes from the water, it doesn't move like the following. It goes from down to top. So I will say here movement, which is here, and I will say I need it to be false. Save, and the direction is say uh, bottom. It is from the bottom to the top. Refresh. Wait. Movement would be only from the bottom. Save. Okay. I uh, will see top. So the, the I mean the movement will be only to the top. Great. Now there I will uh, say is it uh, let's see what I need it to be a few a few elements over there. Let's see how many elements you need. Let's see we need only fifty. Refresh. Okay, like that, great. Okay, so now then I will go to the other uh, place which is an hover. Now when you if you see when you hover the elements you will go away from you. So I need to delete the, I mean to to do uh, to cancel this uh, property I will see here on hover we don't need anything see I will say false save Let's refresh so when we hover nothing will happen great now let's go to the other file and we write here the elements that we want them I will add here an image and I will uh, say image one okay I will give it a class I will say class image and image one Let's go to the style and over here I will say the following. I will say dot image and here I will say the code of the image one. I will say position. The position will be absolute for all the images. Then I will say dot, which is the class image one, which we will repeat this with the with the all of the elements, but we will change some elements. For example, here I will say let's see 30 pixel. And let's say the height, for example, let's see 50, 50 pixel. Sorry, this would be percent. Yes, means the top from the top we need to be 30 percent. Uh, so that could work with uh, many uh, platforms. I mean, many uh, screen sizes. Then we have here animate, animation, and I will say in the animation, I need to animate. Which we will create a key for I mean a key frame now. Uh, then let's say we need it to be 20 second and we need it to be linear and finite. Finite. Uh, inf uh, I mean infinite, not finite. Infinite. Okay. So now I will create the keyframe over here. I will say add keyframes. And here I will call the keyframe keyframe animate. And here I will write, for example, from zero percent. I need that action to be like the following. I need it to transform. Okay, transform, translate y, translate y from. Uh, and I will write here. I will write, for example, from minus uh, fifty pixel. And let's duplicate this many times. Okay, then here I will say 25. Over here I will say, and let's see, it's, it would be for example, uh, let's see zero. Or let's see 50, 20. Let's see 20. But plus, here we will say it would be 20, but minus. And here we will say it will be 50. Let's say here from 50%, over here I will say 100%. Great. Then I will need, let's see, let's see what we have here. Nothing except the element over there. So let's see here. I need it to be from left, the beginning. I need it to be from left. Uh, let's say minus 25 pixel or percent percent then at the end I need it to be 90 percent or let's see 20 percent 20 percent at the end I'll need it to be this controls the movement I mean 
left it would be 90 percent or 100 percent I mean these values you could adjust them as you like so that you could uh, get a, a good result that could match your need so now you could see this octopus is walking like the following way great so let's create the another elements that we have is over there so we will go now and see what we should uh, do I will double -cate. Where is the HTML HTML is over here let's go some depth I will say the, the images let's say the, the second image which is two and I will say the add class is two let's do this one now uh, okay I will double key this element I will say image two okay then let's say from top it would be for example 50 pixel 50 percent and the size will be 40 and let's see it starts from 23 seconds okay let's put the animate let's see what type of image we have over there okay so it, it goes the other side we will change the side so look at that image it goes the opposite i will change it over here i will double key this wait i need to get this file this uh, element and i will change the value to the i mean the opposite direction let's see left from uh, 20 pixel I mean to uh, minus let's see what would be the result oh what happened yes we should we should see here one so we have two uh, keyframes this keyframe will talk about the from left to right the other one will go from right to left so let's define the animate to to this element uh, refresh now it goes from there but it goes from the middle so we should get see here it will go from 100 pixel 100 percent until 20 hundred percent fresh we'll go from here the other element will go from there okay great let's add the another elements over there so let's add the image let's see image 3 and over here image 3 Let's add the class over there. Let's say this class. Double key that. And over here, let's see. Uh, from 20, 10% from the top or 20% from the top. Size could be, um, let's see, this one I need it to be 6%, 60%. But here it will be 60, uh, 40. Uh, let's say it will start from the 40 fresh okay it's over there it's at the top okay so it will go from right to left so let's decrease its size let's see it will be 30 and over down we will say mm, and meet one great why it doesn't work let's say what is the problem this should be image three the ID of MS3. Great. Now it's working and it's it goes from the place from the right place that we have it over there. Okay. It's amazing. Okay. So we have the image number four, which would be the I think mini uh, dishes. I'll see image four. The class here image four. Let's change it here to image Right. copy and paste this class and change the value I will say here 40 and over here I will say, let's see 60 problem and over here I will say the size would be 50 or 60 it will start from 30 so the values over there you could uh, I mean you could Manipulate them as you want and see animate animate to that animate one. So it's over there. What is the problem? Why it does work? Because we have a change name. Let's see image four and it will work now. So it's this. This is the image that we have created. Now we have the diver that we will add them now. Let's say new image and here I will say diver. Uh, let's say image 
5 and over here let's double click these files this class and here I will say image 5 let's say 100 because it's large it should be large uh, I mean not from here it could be from 70 the size would be 100 the animation will be 30 percent or 25 this controls when the element will appear so we need it to appear after 25 seconds let's say where's the diver here's the diver that we have it and those the elements you could add as many elements as you need it so and it will be great if you need another elements for example that will match your uh, need the bubbles over here we could uh, decrease them for example see the app and see the value over here let's see we need only 30 save it refresh okay and we could delay the speed let's see where the speed 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 over here let's say the speed not the opacity the speed of the movement mm -hmm. speed the size mm, movement speed could be two okay so they could be so slow okay like that like following is great now it's working and this was the lesson for this session you could add for example as many images as you want and i think these images are enough for now so thanks for watching i listening and see you in the next video bye for now